In this video, I will show you how to use table diffusion uh, with Confi UI. So here I use uh, Confi UI version with Flux, and this will be for creating uh, bar relief, for uh, creating jewelry, or can be useful for architecture as well. So here, first of all, we have a few nodes that are very simple actually. Uh, if you really want to discover and that you don't know anything about Stable Diffusion and Confi UI interface, uh, I really recommend you to search, uh, to search, to Google it. It will be easy to uh, to understand and easy to install. It's free, it's uh, open source, so no problem for that. Here I use uh, the model Flux. So I have here the checkpoint here, the load checkpoint with Flux Schnell, so it's the fastest version and the, and the fastest one, yeah, e easy to use. Here I have a LoRa that I use to add some uh, details in the final results. Here I have a positive prompt, I have no negative prompt here, so it's, it wasn't useful for what, what I have to do. And what I did use is ultra detailed white head of a lion head statue bar relief with black background, tune sharp, front light, a lot of details, realistic, sharp details, fine details, details, a lot of details everywhere. <laughs> but yeah, and basically it gives me after use, uh, uh, here I have the resolution here, so it's uh, 1K, and there I have the clay sampler, you can see and check the numbers that I use here to have the same thing. Here I have a preprocessor that is a Confi UI control net here, and I use the depth anything v2 preprocessor. So it gives me the possibility to create a depth map from an image. And here is the result here. This is the image. So yeah, the best is to keep, if you want to experiment a little with this, uh, it's to keep always black and white values like this. Uh, you will uh, can manage this more easily. Here, so it's the result. So you see, nice image, lot of details, good to to work with. But uh, here we have the depth too, and the depth will help us to really uh, make kind of sculpture with it. So what we will do now with these two images, you will go into Photoshop or in your favorite image editor. And here you have the result already. So I will show you before everything. And uh, I will explain you that, how it works. Okay, so here you have to copy the two images that you did. Uh, so it's very easy actually. Eh? You go into the interface, you have the image, you make a copy image here, and then you create the same uh, same here resolution uh, project here in Photoshop or in whatever image editor that you have. It will work as well for GIMP, I guess, or even online editors as these functions, I guess. So here, what you have is the my two layers here, okay, first layer, this one, and second layer, that one. Now, uh, with the first one, what I want to do is remove the uh, end of the first layer, the background here is totally black here. So this is important as well. So what I want to do is add here, uh, remove the background. So you have the possibility to make it yourself or to use the automatic uh, remove background here of Photoshop that works really great too. And now you have the possibility to have a black background here. Then into this layer, I would like to use the soft light here function. Uh, not on that one, sorry. On that one, it will work better. Soft light here and uh, the opacity will be near 20. Usually I have good results with between 15 and let's say 25, 30, not more. And you can see that now I I have the depth map generated, but the depth map is not really uh, with a lot of details and doesn't have all the 
the details and the sharp details that there is into the original image. So with this technique, you can add the, the details into the, the first here depth map. And now you have a depth map that you export in PNG somewhere in your computer. And now we will go into Blender. So Blender, in Blender, it's very, it will be very easy. You will see. So here we have Blender. This is the final result here. What I will do, I will just remove that and show you how it works. So here, here I have the ring. Uh, you will see in the description that uh, there is a tutorial about that if you want to know how to model this ring. Um, and me, I would like to add a plane and I will just disable this ring here. Okay. And let's go to other plane. And in that plane, in edit mode, I will subdivide this a few times until I have with shift air something like, uh, yeah, 16,000 should be good for, just for start. Okay. I will just focus into that one and I will add a modifier into it. The modifier will be a deform here, displace. And the displace, I will add a new texture and this texture will be, as you guess, the nice textures that we made. And here, look at this, we have already a nice lion shape. Okay, it's not perfect, we will make better. And here, what we can do first is to make a shade smooth with a right click. And we want to increase the resolution here. We don't have enough vertices to catch the nice details on our texture. So what we will do, we will add a modifier, generate subdivision surface. And this one, we'll put it up like this, increase the level. And you can see that already you have nice and sharper details than before. Um, you can use simple, it will be better for computing. And uh, yeah, here, maybe the strength is too, too strong. Maybe 0 0.3 will be good for this kind of, um, this kind of design. And what you can do, you can go until three here, maybe, and you will find more details, but there is a, but it comes with, um, with kind of noise here, okay? And what you can do to avoid that, you can add a modifier and this modifier will be a deform and it will be a smooth. So the smooth here will work well uh, if you increase the repeat here and the factor, but it will really kill the details and all the details, except if you can see that here, it's already good actually. Yeah, it, it kills a little the details. Anyway, any smooth modifier will kill the details, but uh, one that works more, in my opinion, is the smooth corrective. So the smooth corrective keeps the, the, the big details. And what you can do, you can go into bin coordinates here, you bin just like that, or it will not work. And then you increase the factor at one, you keep the repeat at five, and you decrease the scale, like 0 0.1 should make the job. Oh, it's far too, too little maybe. 0 0.2 maybe, or 0 0.3 might be better, okay? So before we have still the details, but without the noise and it looks good in my opinion now. What you could do, you could do now, it's make a Boolean operation because now we don't have a volume, we have a surface and as we plan to print it for in a 3D printer and then after maybe make it in metal, uh, we would like a volume or the printer will not understand what's happening. So what we will do, we'll go inside view, add a cube here, okay? scale it up a little and make a GZ without this, sorry, and make a GZ to put it just over the beginning of the, the design. Okay, and it should, it should look something like this. Good. So now you select the cube, select the, 
design here and with the bool tool here activated here you can see that i have the bool tool uh, add-on that is here so you can download it it's integrated in blender uh, you just have to go in edit preferences and i did cover that already but i show you here it's in the get extensions you get the bool tools here the bool tool and you will have it just after there that you can enable the add-on and finally you will have this menu and you can do now a difference so a difference will kill all the modifiers here so be be careful with that be sure that you are agree with uh, everything with the details and that you are happy with that uh, or make a duplication of this object that i will call lay lion head it's always good to rename here everything and now we can come back to our ring so our ring oh is big what we will do we will make a scale make a gz okay to put it up just outside the geometry somewhere here should be good and scale it down if needed okay and um, yeah so we have something that looks good here. Maybe I, I will push it over there. Yeah, somewhere here. Nice one. So now uh, you can play a little more with the details here. I didn't make a lot of uh, details over there. Maybe you can add some uh, little pearls or things like that to make it a little more beautiful. But already you have something that looks really nice, okay? Uh, depending on of what you want to achieve, maybe you can make a Z to make it less prominent or more prominent, depending on what you want to do. Uh, you can play a little with sculpt mode as, as well. You can come back in sculpt mode, like for example, maybe I would like to remove this in sculpt mode to make it less prominent because it doesn't look that beautiful. But I mean, from here, it looks very good. Or maybe the, the heels that are a little too much outside in my opinion so maybe we can go in skirt mode enable this in x and with the grab here tool i will just make f to have a bigger tool like this and i can move a little this down just to have something that will fit well the design okay and yeah maybe you can play a little with this to add more expression or maybe into the eyes to make it more angry if needed okay at this point it will be a little more angry and maybe a little like this yeah okay so now we have something a little different it's interesting maybe move this a little as well and now you have the lion head so look at this i mean just from an image open source uh, open source stable diffusion open source blender and look at what you can do with that so it's a very powerful feature and i wanted you to know this feature so that's why i did share this don't hesitate to have a look into uh, into the description i have a full training about jewelry and other stuff like that you can check it out and happy blending make good creations in blender and show me the results or leave me a comment i would be happy to read that uh, so that's it for this video ah yeah don't forget to put a nice material into it okay so for example this here has to be the same as this here so we make control l link materials this here i will have will have to make the same here Control F link materials and I will put it in the studio box here all of these uh, are available the shaders that I use in this scene the studio that I use in this scene it's available in the assets that I sell for making jewels and help you to make you to make nice jewels so here in render view we have this view here and without everything inside we have this so yeah uh, as you can see, you can really make nice designs with this technique.
And that's it for this video. I really recommend you to use this technique for your projects. And see you later. Happy blending.